Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, and it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou see part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere arguments. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here forbid all these signs that the Lord is showing us. I'm looking at the news now. Now, now they're saying they got a um, a Capri sign. And you know what we mean when we say that. You see, now they're they saying they got some Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying, for chickens. Now, chickens need to receive the Capri Sun. Uh, look, you realize you ain't measuring the time. Yeah, yeah, them ancient play. We got to keep going over this because this is what's happening on the earth right now, man. All right? More damn fires. Yeah, the Lord said, I'm, a little, I'm doing all this, man. We're going to keep repeating it. We're seeing this more clearer and clearer and clearer, man. It's, it's really coming to pass. The Lord is not healing this place. He's sending more plagues upon this place. Go back to the ancient plagues of ancient Egypt. Them plagues of ancient Egypt, they're here. They're right here in Babylon. It, it's right here. And the Lord ain't healing this place, Israel. You better seek the Lord, man. Noah told you. Lot told you. Lord Yahweh I first and foremost told you, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first. And everybody laughed at him. Everybody scorned him. Everybody thought he was crazy. That's, that, everybody thinks the men of the Lord are crazy. Anytime you bring to the truth to the people in a, in a society that's full of lies, of course they're going to think you're crazy. In a wicked society, you bring in the truth and the message that we teach is salvation. See how stupid the majority of our people are? They run from salvation. They mock at salvation. They laugh at salvation. But let's see who's going to get the last laugh. Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. You see what's going on in the face of the earth and you link it up with the scriptures. Oh, we most definitely in this time. The Lord said this was going to be happening at, at this time. It's all happening. I talked about it last night, talked about it the other day, talked about it the other day, talked about it the other day. Here, here we go, another day, talking about it again. You, you, you people have no clue. The Lord going to squeeze every bit of mirth out of this place. All, all smiles going to most definitely turn into frowns, all right? The Lord's going to completely shut this place down and we're measuring the time diligently. And when thou see part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, wars, earthquakes, storms, floods, violence, chaos. You see a different uh, pattern in weather. In the places where it's supposed to be hot at, it's freezing. And in the places where it's supposed to be freezing at, it's hot as hell. Rivers are drying up.
The, all these are signs. Ma major rivers are drying up. Rivers that connect to other rivers that, that three, four states depend on drying the hell up. And the Lord said, this is the beginning of sorrows. Oceans are drying up. To the point where the boats can't even go in it anymore. But, 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 yeah, we're the crazy ones, though, right? And when they all see part of the science path, which I told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin the world, which he made. Let's get a quick precept. Yeah, I, I brung it out the other day. I'm bringing out it again. It, it don't even matter what the hell you people think anyway. It, it never matter. The message is going to go out how the Lord wanted to go out, and damn it, if you don't like it, that's on you. Watch something else and get caught up in the wrath of the Lord. That, that's the only thing you need to wait for. Just get ready for the wrath of the Lord, and then it's on the earth right about now. Now, now chickens got to receive um, a Capri Sun now. You see, people getting napped up. Little, little, oh, big ass blocks. Four citizens napped up in Mexico of case of mistaken identity right on camera. People getting napped up right on camera. And you know what I mean by what I'm saying. Let's get this St. Matthew 24. Getting it again. St. Matthew 24, 6. And you should have wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing wars actually pop off and talks of wars. Everybody wants to go to war. All nations are like, damn it, let's get it in. I got I got nuclear capability. You got cap nuclear capability. Let's dance. Let, damn it, let's dance. Okay? Everybody ready to dance. See that ye be not troubled. Even though it's a shortage of every damn thing. And they're getting ready to start rationing everything out again. Like they did in 2020. Like they did, you know what I'm saying, like in 1930, the Great Depression. The Lord said the Great Depression ain't got nothing to, to even compare to what I'm, I got coming. Better go back and read the history, these different time periods, when the Lord brought harsh judgment, you know what I'm saying, so when people had to eat shit, literally. People had to eat shit and drink piss. You people have no clue. Everybody fine dining in and right about now, you know. Why the why the earth, you know what I'm saying, is being polluted with different toxins and sleazy, you know what I'm saying, trying to get the hell out of here. He he look, he trying to haul ass to the space station. He gonna leave you people for dead. He gonna go to his underground bunkers on the other side of the earth. He gonna haul ass to the space station, go to the underground, um, underwater bunkers and leave you people for dead. Simple ass people, man. What did it say? And you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You people think you don't have no clue how terrible it's getting ready to get. As long as you can do a damn TikTok video or send a picture on Facebook or walk around with your camera face to, to yourself every day right before you go into that damn restaurant. You people are really through, though, man. People ain't never been this damn simple. You see? It's so damn vain before. Not, not, not what we're seeing now. Hell, everybody is vain as shit. The Lord got to do something. That's how you know the Lord got to do something because ain't nobody paying attention what the hell going on. Everybody just caught up in likes, views, thumbs ups. Social media hype, makeup, every ain't nobody looking normal no more. Where's the damn normal men and women? Where, the, where you at, man? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, and the Lord said, I'm going to turn up. I'm going to make it worse than any time in history. Let's go right back. Second Ezra 9. And um, in three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, are, are we not seeing that? Are, are, are we not seeing that? Let's just get the earthquake app right quick. Just bear, bear with me. I, I want to see what's going on this morning. And, and, I, and I'm about to roll. 
I'm about to roll. Today is the seventh time the earthquakes that popped up already. Bear with me. Yeah, 49 earthquakes this morning already. 1,011 earthquakes this month in diverse places already. Another thousand and some earthquakes this month alone. In our, this month just now started. All right? A 6.6, a 6.0 in, in the Philippines. Hell, um, a 6.9 in New Zealand. Whoa, the air. Whee! Adventure landing. Taco Bueno. Like Elder Apostle Ricasse. Make it work. Make it work. Only thing people think about is damn eating. Make it work. Earthquakes every damn well. You see, Dunkin' Donuts. You see, Taco Bell, McDonald's. You got earthquakes every damn well. Crushing every damn thing. Storms, floods. People protesting like hell, ain't no damn jobs, ain't no damn benefits, everything crumbling right in front of your damn eyes. Crime every damn well, you, you, you can't carjack, that's what I'm saying. People taking your car, you go to the gas, you can't even go get to the gas station to pump gas. People take your damn car. Boy, yeah, ain't, ain't no place better than Babylon, are you serious? And this is in the world. It says, Then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Because he declared it already. You see? That's Isaiah um, 46, 9 and 10. The Lord declared what he was going to do. And Lord don't give a damn if you people don't believe it. Sin is believing. Everything that we're reading is happening. Everything the Lord said was going to happen is happening. Bear with me. People protesting like hell. They damn water all messed up. The damn air all messed up. The soil all messed up. Another damn train derailment. The Lord just keep hitting this place. Keep hitting this place. Keep hitting this place. You see? And it ain't going to stop. You say this is the beginning of sorrows, man. We just say, then shalt thou well understand that the most I spoke of those things from the days which that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The Lord is making it clear, making it known that we are at the end of Sleazy East Rue. Once again, 2 Ezra um, 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it to follow. So the Lord's showing you how corrupt these damn people are. Everybody, the damn pastors, everybody corrupt as shit, all right? Let's go. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And the Lord showing a whole lot of signs, chariots. You see, there's all kind of signs. Look, you can't even keep, there's so much going on, you can't even keep up with it. Huh? Hell, I'm, I'm just flowing in the spirit. Just, it's, so, it's, so, it's so much going on. I'm trying to figure out what scriptures to bring out. There's so much going on right about now. Let's just get this right quick. I'm, I'm about to wrap it up because I got the roll. Another day in Babylon. Yo, it's almost over though. One day closer. You see, Kim Jong Un's sister warns North Korea ready to act against Babylon, the U United Snakes. You see, if they keep, you know what I'm saying, um, having those war games with South Korea, it's getting ready to go down. You see? Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's get this. Before I even get that, let's get this. This is, uh, yeah, 21. Proverbs 21. The Lord is in control of everything. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. The Lord controls these. Who, who's the real puppet master? The Lord, man. The king's heart, the rulers of the earth, is in the hand of the Lord. The Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, by way of the angels, right? As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. You see? Oh, yeah. Only thing people think about there is spring break. 
Everything messes. That's what I'm saying. That's how gone these people are. Only thing people think about is their spring break. You, you, do you not see what the Lord is bringing, man? He, ain't nobody seeking the Lord. Ain't nobody seeking the Lord. You know, yeah, spring break, spring break. Isaiah chapter 29. You thinking about spring break, you don't see what the hell going on. They got a Capri Sun for chickens now. Tell them some, tell them some chickens are spreading you. You didn't, you, you, know, you, you know what, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that nah, so I can't even think of the name right about now. The nickname for it. Y'all know what we talking about. The C dub. Ch chickens, chickens are spreading it now to, to other animals. This devil, man. But once again, the Lord's controlling everything. Isaiah 29 and 6, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of the devouring fire. The Lord said, I'm bringing, I'm bringing everything. I'm bringing storms. I'm bringing floods. I'm bringing pestilence. I'm bringing diseases. I'm bringing everything. The Lord is doing it all. Let's bring this last one and I'm gone. Yes, uh, yes, seeing that pop up on the news feed, like yo, let me just go into that a little bit. Yeah, now that now they got a um a Maxine Waters, you see, um a Capri Sun for chickens now. So so instead of your chickens just having steroids in it, you know what I'm saying, and all kind of other BS in it, now you know what I'm saying it got I got a Capri Sun in it. Jeremiah fifty one, just hit the point and I'm gone. Let's see. Jeremiah 51, <clears throat> 7. Babylon, the land of confusion, America, have been a golden cup in the Lord's hands. See, the Lord is saving the best for last. That made all the earth drunk, drunken. Off that wine, off that philosophies, man, that democracy and all that other crap. You see? The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. You see, look at these different countries. They drunk of Babylon's juice. And now, and now look at the state of their country. Through. Through, man. Now, now you're mad. Now, don't get mad now. Don't get mad now. You drunk that wine. You drunk of that democracy. You you drunk of that, that wine to where a woman can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Freedom, women's rights, and all this other nonsense. You know? You you fell for it. Just, just for relief funds and all that. Babylon goes into your country, destroys it, you know what I'm saying? Then then come up with some relief funds and things of that nature. But but oh yeah, you gotta you gotta um follow some odd rules, you gotta take on democracy. And, and you fail for that nonsense. All, all you all you leaders are stupid as hell. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed, future privacy. This is gonna happen, all right? Howl for her, scream, holler, moan for her, take bomb for her, pain. What's bomb? A healing agent. See, no, no matter how much money you pump into the economy, it's still going to crash. All right? It's still going to crash. Them stimulus packages ain't going to bring life back to this place. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Why? Because the Lord controls everything. Forsake her. Take your energy out of this place, Israel. Forsake her. Forsake her ways. You see, and let us go everyone into his own country. The elites don't stay here. You see, the upper echelon people don't stay here. They might come here and make some money off this place, but they out of here, man. They see this place gone. It says, for our judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. I got, I got one more. <clears throat> I got one more. I'm pressed for time, but I do got one more. Let's just bring this. One of my favorites. Revelation, the 18th chapter, in time prophecy. Revelation 18, let's just get this. Revelation 18 and 8, therefore shall her plagues Babylon the great. Remember, it ain't no bomb, no healing agent will heal this place, right? Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. By that nuclear fire, that's the ends all, be it all, right? For strong is the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. So just, just burning some early morning oil, Lord willing, the elect is that a fire. You better turn back to the Lord. It's supposed to be measuring the time, Israel. Shalom. 
Oh, yeah. As long as you can get your damn tummy tuck or some liposuction or get some damn Botox to get your damn saggy ass face skin, you know what I'm saying? Um, put back to normal. You people through. Shallow one.